What is going on everybody? To all of my subscribers, welcome back. To all of my roulette players and everybody else that is new, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use the no mirror strategy on roulette. One of my more popular videos is my no mirror strategy played on Baccarat. And what I've realized is with some minor adjustments, you can also use the no mirror on roulette. So let me show you how this works. Look at the results of red or black and wait for a column of five to complete. So you are gonna keep track of this with a pen and paper or your phone. So let's say the first column of five goes red, red, black, red, black. We are gonna bet that the next column, this one over here, will not repeat. Okay, so take a look at the first column. I went red, red, black, red, black. Again, we are gonna bet that this column here will not repeat. In other words, one of these bets will be off. It will not mirror the first column. That is what we are betting on. So what would we bet on the first row of column number two? Since a red showed up on column number one of row one, we are gonna bet against that. So our first bet here would be black. Let's say we lose and another red shows up. What do we bet on row two? Again, we would bet black because we are betting the opposite of what happened the previous column. Let's say another red shows up and we lose. What do we bet here on row three? Since the first column is showing black, we are gonna bet red and this time we win. So what happens when you hit? I recommend waiting for the column to complete before starting your next bet. Once the column is complete, you're gonna do the same thing on column number three. You will bet against the previous column. So if we take a look at column two, the first bet, a red showed up. So what do we bet here? We're gonna bet on black and we win. Again, after a win, wait for the column to complete before starting your next bet on the next column. Pretty straightforward, I would say. Now you're probably wondering what happens if a zero comes up? This is where Baccarat and Roulette have their differences. So in Baccarat, if a tie comes up, you get your money back. In roulette, if a zero shows up, you lose your bet unless you have a bet placed on green, number zero. So we are gonna add that to our game during our betting sequence. Now, what I like to use are bet spreads. If you don't know what bet spreads are, basically you take your unit size and break it down into three levels. So level one might be 25% of your unit size. Level two might be 50% of your unit size. And level three will be your original unit size. Why do I use bet spreads? It's to survive the downswings of the game. You're gonna have losing sessions, you're gonna have winning sessions. You wanna be able to withstand your downswings if they come. For a more detailed explanation on bet spreads, check out some of the videos on my channel. There are plenty of examples that you can find. Okay, I have many bet spreads, but let's say I use this bet spread. Okay, as you can see, we're gonna start off on level one, 10, 30, 60. If we do not hit on level one, we will move to level two. And if you pay attention up top over here, I mentioned that for level two and three, if you lose, you move one to the right. And if you win, you move one to the left. Only on level two and three for this bet spread. And basically what this means is, say I place a $50 bet, I'm on level two. If I lose, I will move one to the right. My next bet would be $75. If I win, I will move one to the left. My next bet would be $50, okay? My win target for this bet spread is $200 with a stop loss of $550. So back to how we incorporate the zero on the roulette wheel into our bet spreads. For each bet you place, I recommend putting 10% on zero. As you can see, if I put $10 on red, 
I would put $1 on zero. If I lose, let's say I put $30 on red, I would then put $3 on zero, so on and so forth. I have the amounts under the bets. Again, 10% on zero. All we are doing is hedging our bets. If a zero were to hit, it's a 35 to one payout. So during your no mirror strategy, if a zero were to come up, you wouldn't lose everything. In fact, you would make a profit if a zero were to hit during your bet spread. Okay, how about we clear everything and do a simulation of the no mirror strategy on roulette. What is step number one? wait for a column of five to complete. So let's go ahead and do that. Black. Red. Red. black and black what do we do now we bet that the next column will not mirror the first column okay so row one of column one so we go with the no mirror and bet the opposite our first bet will be red and we are gonna follow our bet spreads betting sequence so i will put ten dollars on red and one dollar on zero give it a spin okay so black came up so we lost the first bet what is our second bet guys if we take a look at column one, a red showed up on row two. So we are going to bet the opposite. Our next bet would be black. Okay. And if we take a look at our bet spreads, the next bet is $30 with a $3 bet on the zero. Okay. So let's give this a spin. And we win because a black hit. So let's go ahead and record that. After a hit, what do we do? We wait for the column to complete. So we're gonna take one, two, three free spins before we bet again up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our free spins in. Spin number one. Okay, black. Spin number two red spin number three red so it went black red red black red red and our column is complete we can now start betting again what was the result of the previous column guys if you take a look here it was black so we are gonna no mirror that and place a bet on red as our first bet for column number three and if we take a look at our bet spreads, since I got a hit on $30 on level one, I will go back to $10 with a $1 bet on zero. Okay, guys? So $10 on red, $1 on zero. Let's give it a spin. And we win right away on the first bet because column number three has not mirrored and you can keep going with completing the column before starting your next bet but i think you guys get the idea as you can see the no mirror is a very nice strategy and with some adjustments on your bet spreads putting 10 percent on zero you can make this work there you have it, the no mirror strategy, playing roulette. Let me know in the comments what you think of the strategy. And if you like this video, destroy the like button. For those of you who are new, subscribe to my channel if you love strategies and money management. Turn on bell notifications. That way you get notified when a brand new video goes live. Check out my website, link in the description. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one.
Ciao.